Let's now try and derive a transport equation. for the Reynolds stresses. We'll let equation 5 be multiplied by uj prime to derive a transport equation. When we do that, we'll get uj prime of partial partial t of ui plus ui prime plus uj prime of uk plus uk prime of partial partial xk of ui plus ui prime. And that all be equal to negative uj of 1 over the density rho times p plus p prime plus kinematic viscosity of uj prime of partial 2 partial xk partial xk of ui plus ui prime. We'll call this equation 11. So that's the first step in the development of the transport equation for Reynolds stresses, which is right here. Okay, the next big step is that with i equals 1, 2, 3, and j equals 1, 2, 3, we'll take equation 5 in the j direction and multiply it with ui prime. So now we have j direction of equation 5, right? And we'll multiply by ui prime. So remember, i and j are just interchangeable, and we'll have a very close equation to number 11. And you can almost infer what it'll be, but I'll write it out for you, ui prime partial partial t of uj plus uj prime plus ui prime of uk plus uk prime partial partial xk of uj plus uj prime is all equal to the negative ui of 1 over rho just like before p plus p prime and what do we have less the viscous term Pneumatic viscosity times ui prime, partial 2, partial xk, partial xk, times uj plus uj prime. And we'll call this equation 12. So we've done the same type of operation really twice. So what do we do? We can add equations 11 and 12. So look at equations 11. And 12, and we'll have a very, very large term. And I'll write out the terms one by one here. So we'll have uj prime of partial ui prime partial t plus ui prime partial uj prime partial t, and these are averaged. and time average, I should say, excuse me, plus uk, uj prime, partial ui prime, plus uk, ui prime, partial uj prime, partial xk, and these are averaged, of course, and you'll notice I'm putting the bars not over the quantities with primes, because averages of averages, there's just the average. Plus the third term I'm gonna group, and we'll call this uj, uk prime, all bar, of partial ui, partial xk. So this is a partial derivative of the velocity in space, plus ui, uk, prime prime bar, so that's a Reynolds stress, of u j partial x k. That's the third term. Now group terms like in the fourth. So this is all one equation, remember. We'll have u j prime u k prime times partial u i prime partial x k. 
this is all barred, plus a similarly bar term ui uk prime prime bar. Oop, excuse me, don't want that bar there. Oops, I erased that, sorry, ui prime times uj prime partial xk. And this is all barred. So you see these are triples. Okay, that's the fourth term. But there's two more. If you're taking account, you have negative one over rho, uj prime partial p prime partial xi plus a negative one over rho of ui prime partial p prime partial xj. Of course, these are barred. And the bar, excuse me, should not extend over that density term. It's just over the velocity with the pressure gradient terms. That's the fifth term. And there's one more term if you're keeping track of equations 11 and 12. The viscous term if you're keeping track, and that's plus kinematic viscosity of uj prime of partial 2 ui prime partial xk partial xk. And what's average? The fluctuating quantities viscosity is constant, plus kinematic viscosity of ui prime of partial to uj prime all over partial xk partial xk, once again average. So we'll call this whole equation 13, and of course these different terms, and I've written them this way, denote different physical processes. So we'll call, say, uh, We'll do this in orange. We'll call this term one, this term two, this term three, this term four, this term five, and this term six. And now let's talk about what they physically mean, which will be very interesting. And there's a lot of discussion in, this in the community about what they mean, and it's very important to understand them. And I'll write out their, their names right by the equations now. So we call this the unsteady term. And we'll talk about each one individually in a second. And you can just look at this term just like the Navier-Stokes equations that come from the convective part. So we call this the convective term. We call this the production term. Term four we'll call turbulent diffusion. Fusion. Term five we'll call redistribution of energy through pressure. Energy through pressure. So let's see, P is pressure, rho is density, remember? And the last term, term six, we'll call molecular diffusion. Anticipation. So these terms have their names and corresponding modeling because of how they transport the Reynolds stress from our derived Reynolds stress equation. So this is probably one of the most important equations and groundwork for the Reynolds averaging type techniques in turbulence modeling. So next, we are going to talk about what each of these particular terms means in the context of the flow. Let's see the first one. If we assume that the flow is stationary, then of course term one would vanish. And we might write partial of partial t, that's the partial derivative with respect to time, of ui prime uj prime bar, the Reynolds stress, is of course equal to zero. We'll call this equation 14, so we can refer back to it later. Oops, excuse me, I'm writing my equations in blue. We'll call that 14. Great. Now, if we use this continuity equation in 14, we might write term four as the following. Partial, partial xk, of ui prime, uj prime, uk prime, 
R. You see it's a triple correlation. Minus U I prime U J prime partial U K prime partial X K all barred. It will be equal to partial partial X K of U I U J U K primed barred. You'll see that this last quantity, which I'm going to highlight here in equation 15 is the so-called triple correlation. It's going to cause us a lot of trouble in the field of turbulence modeling. And that's U, I, U, J, U, K. It's the fluctuating quantities barred. So we'll use these new expressions for terms 1 and 4 written in equations 14 and 15. And we'll let equation 13 be formed for the so-called Reynolds stresses using 14 and 15. Let's see what that equation looks like. And we'll have UK of partial partial XK of UI prime UK, oops, excuse me, uj prime bar is equal to d sub ij plus p sub ij plus v sub ij minus epsilon ij. And I'm writing it this way so we can talk about the terms. We'll say that this first one, and I should label this equation as 16 first, let's label this first one as dij. So what does this mean? This is the diffusion of Reynolds stresses. Okay. Pij, just like I discussed earlier, is the production of energy in Reynolds stresses. And I'll write Reynolds as Re due to the velocity gradients. Vij, this tensor, is the pressure strain correlation which causes redistribution of energy among different components components of the Reynolds stress tensor, which I'll write as UIEJ. And of course, there's just one more. Epsilon IJ is the dissipation rate of the energy in the Reynolds stresses. And now we can write out these different definitions mathematically now that we said what they are. Take a second and look at those. Now let's look at the diffusion of the Reynolds stresses term. So dij can be written partial partial xk of viscosity partial ui uj prime prime bar, right? Reynolds stress, partial xk, minus triple correlation, ui, uj, uk, prime, prime, prime bar, minus one over rho of p prime, ui prime bar, delta jk, which we'll talk about in a second, all minus one over rho of p prime, uj prime bar, delta i, k. Now here, this is the Kronecker delta function, delta i, j. delta function. So this is equal to 1 when i equals j, and it's equal to 0 when i is not equal to j. Okay, So that's just a little shorthand notation. 
Okay, that's that's DIJ, the diffusion of Reynolds stress. Looks like let's look at the production of energy in the Reynolds trusses due to the velocity gradients PIJ. What is that? I'll be the negative of the quantity I U K prime prime bar partial U J partial X K plus U J prime U K prime bar partial U I partial X K. So of course if you can see there's no um, gradients and velocity in the flow, then there'll be no uh, production term. What's the next term we need to write out? Phi i j, the pressure strain correlation and redistribution. j is equal to 1 over rho, the density, which is constant in this analysis of p prime of the quantity u partial u j prime partial x i plus partial u i prime all over partial xj. It's all barred. Okay, and finally, last term, which as you recall, is the dissipation rate of the energy in the Reynolds stresses. Let's write that out. There'll be two, two nu, right, kinematic viscosity of partial of partial ui prime, partial xk, partial uj prime, partial xk, all barred. And so this is a very important definition here of the dissipation. So what does this equation really mean? You can interpret dij as the total diffusion, which can be split up in a molecular diffusion and turbulent diffusion, and of course a pressure diffusion. So let's write that out quickly just as an extra note for you, which we might refer to later. We'll say Dij can be split in a molecular diffusion as partial partial xk of nu of partial ui prime uj prime all over partial xk. This is all barred. Right, this bar goes over the U variables, not the partial, mind you. And it can have a turbulent diffusion term which is negative partial partial xk of ui, uj, uk. This is a triple correlation and the pressure diffusion. What is that going to look like? It'll be negative 1 over rho of P prime U prime I delta JK plus P prime U J prime of delta I K. And of course, put the bars over P's and U primes, not the delta.